हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल स्टडी अ टॉपिक बेस्ड ऑन मैकेट्रॉनिक सब्जेक्ट द नेम ऑफ टॉपिक इज एन कोडर्स विच इज एब्सोल्यूट एंड इंक्रीमेंटल वन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग येवला टुडे विल स्टडी दिस टॉपिक एन कोडर्स नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल स्टडी एब्सोल्यूट एन कोडर्स सो वॉट इज एब्सोल्यूट एन कोडर इट प्रोड्यूसेस यूनिक डिजिटल वर्ड टू ईच रोटेशनल पोजिशन ओके सो यू कैन मेजर हियर रोटेशनल पोजिशन सो फॉर ईच रोटेशनल पोजिशन वी गेट यूनिक डिजिटल वर्ड एज अ आउटपुट ओके सो हियर दिस एनकोडर कंसिस्ट ऑफ रोटेटिंग डिस्क विथ कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्क्युलर स्लॉट्स इट हैज रोटेटिंग डिस्क विथ कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्क्युलर स्लॉट्स ओके and it has four sensors to detect light pulses and slots are so arranged to give binary code so here the circular slots are there so these slots are cut in such a manner that we get a code in the form of binary number okay so it is sequential arrangement of circular slots so here number of bits equal to number of tracks so if you are using 4 bit word then you have to use four number of tracks if you are using 8 bit word then you have to use eight number of tracks so number of bits equal to number of tracks so this is absolute encoder okay so here in this diagram you can see that there are four tracks are there which are transparent and opaque one okay so here dark black color in this track means it is equal to logic 1 okay so here this one means it is transparent okay it is transparent one and zero means it is opaque okay so what happens light or we say that light pulses passes through only this one portion or or transparent part or transparent slots okay from this transparent slots only light can pass and it can give us digital output from this opaque part light cannot pass okay so this you have to remember the transparent part can pass the light beam and opaque part cannot pass the light beam okay so here one means transparent part and zero means opaque part so here four tracks are used here okay so that's why number is four bit number so starting from this 0 0 0 so now here you see this is first number of four bit binary word that is 0 0 0 so that's why all the four slots are opaque okay now in the second case the binary number is 0 0 0 1 okay so here one is shown by dark black color okay so that is transparent part so light can pass through that transparent part okay so like this the slots are cut using four tracks okay such a way that we get binary numbers so all these are binary numbers so as we know that if four bit word is there so we get total number of levels are 16 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16 that's why this track is cut into 16 parts okay and for particular rotation of the disk now this is this mounted on one disk so when disk rotates for particular position we get absolute reading suppose the position of disk is something like this okay this is the position of disk okay so for this purpose our answer is this 1 1 1 1 okay this will be our final answer we get digital output directly here absolute position we get that's why it is called as absolute encoders okay so we'll try to understand this with the help of one video just minute okay so let's understand absolute encoder with this video okay so you can see here now in the video the slots are cut on the disk okay so here you can see slots are cut on the disk so there is transmitter and receiver on one side so transmitter transmits the light and receiver receives the light from this transparent places and we get here binary code on left hand side you can check we get binary code for different positions 
So like this for each rotational position we get absolute binary code. So this is the working of absolute encoder. So like this we can study absolute encoder. So here this is multi turn encoder. So we can attach here gears and we can get more divisions as compared to 360 degree. Okay. So like this this absolute encoder works. We get different positions for different angles. Now let's study incremental encoders. So equally spaced pulses from one or more concentric tags on the code disk. So there is one disk is available on the disk one or more tracks are pro pro provided and through these tracks we get pulses, light pulses. Okay. So for separate light source is used for each track each track has separate light source. So there are two pairs of opaque disks. One disk is fixed and other is rotating with pattern of windows. So one disk is having pattern of windows. Windows means what transparent opaque segments are there. Rotating disk is attached to a shaft whose speed to be is measured. Okay. So we have to measure the speed of shaft. So on that shaft we will fix this rotating disk and we can measure the speed of shaft. Okay. So this fixed disk has window, fixed disk also has window. So this is the diagram of incremental encoder. So here you can see there is code disk is provided. On this code disk you see here this dark one are transparent segments all dark one and in between them there are opaque segments are there. Okay. So we are using here light source assembly and on other side light sensor assembly. So, so light beams pass through these transparent segments and gives us output. Okay. So like this we can measure rotational speed of the any shaft. Okay. So we have to fix the disc on this shaft and we can measure the speed of the shaft. Okay. So same we can study with the help of one video. So this is the incremental encoder video. So now in this encoder we get incremental positions. Okay. So here you can see turn one angle is 360 degree. Now after that total rotation we get turn number two. Okay. So like this we get counters after each 360 degree rotation. One, two, three, four. Okay. So again it consists of receiver and transmitter, light sensor and light beam. It passes through that light beam passes through these slots okay and from these slots counter measures the counts okay and here for detection of rotation means whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise two slots are used okay two circular slots are used two tracks are used and those are half window width apart okay you can check in the figure so they are track a and track b is half window width apart so that's why we get clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation of the disc. If track A leads track B, then it is clockwise rotation. And if track B leads track A, then it is anti-clockwise rotation. Okay. So like this. So now we'll see what are the applications of encoders. So it is used to detect shaft speed. Then we can detect angular position of the shaft and shaft misalignment. If shafts are misaligned at that time also we get the output. Okay. So like this, these are applications of encoders. So thank you so much all of you for watching this video.